A nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Our soils uh, in this nation are being depleted. Our reserves of phosphorus fertilizer will be running out in 40 to 50 years, and phosphorus is a major component needed to grow crops. Phosphorus is a major component of all the protein in our bodies. There is a connection between soil nutrient quality and the quality of the food produced on that soil. The nutrient density of our food is decreasing and we should be concerned about that. Well then if our food is not balanced in, the, in all of these elements, then we need to buy vitamins to supplement. Would you try and make cheese out of spoiled milk? Would you try and make an apple pie out of a bunch of rotten apples? No way. Why then do we allow the manure on these farms to putrefy into this awful mess and then have all these problems with it. The typical way that we manage dairy nutrients is to put it in a storage pond of some place that makes a lot of odor and that odor is loss of nutrients. It's loss of two nutrients, the two that can go into a vaporous form, nitrogen as ammonia and sulfur as hydrogen sulfide. So we lose those two nutrients out of this building blocks. Our pile of blocks crashes. And that's exactly what happens from a nu nutritional perspective. When you take out two of the major components that, of this balanced material that the cow gave you back in her poop, it, it falls apart. And we get a disease-ridden, stinky mess. We should call ourselves sun farmers. Nutrient balance in the soil gives us healthier crops that can do more photo photosynthesis and then through the magic of photosynthesis sequester carbon into the soil. Photosynthesis is like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, of what we feed a cow, 20% ends up as milk. 80% ends up as uh, feces and urine. And those nutrients uh, should then be returned to the soil to grow more crops. If we properly manage the nutrients from dairy farms in the state of California alone, over one million acres would not need commercial fertilizer that require it today. The amount of nutrients coming from dairy farms is equal to the same the amount of nutrients coming from all the people in all the cities in California. And it needs to be dealt with in the same way. In other words, getting those nutrients back on the land where they can grow more crops not dumping it in the ocean, using it for landfill caps, and doing other things to get rid of it and not reutilize it. When we bring in biosolids from humans, it's nutrients that humans have eaten and, and now we're using it to amend the soil, we bring in the micronutrients that normally a crop farmer can't buy, very easily at least, and the response is very significant. We were bringing nutrient balance back to the soil and then soil was telling us it was the right thing to do.